What's going on, YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today's case is a little bit different. It's not about a missing child. It's to alert you of a real turd floating around the punch bowl that is society. This piece of shit needs to be flushed. The person that we're going to be talking about today, his name is Todd Michael Sutton, and he has a criminal history going way back, y'all. His criminal history began in Washington State when he beat his wife up after defrauding a teacher out of $5,000. He then proceeded to commit insurance fraud in 1997, knowing that they might find out. He leaves his seven-year-old child at school and heads to Missouri. Now, keep in mind, one of his most recent little scams is that he uses the social security number of this seven-year-old child that he left behind back in 1997. Fast forward to today, that child is now serving his country honorably in the U.S. military. Meanwhile, his deadbeat piece of shit father is using his the child's social security number, racking up all kinds of bills for hospital stays and credit cards and everything else in that child's name. In 2000, while this man was in a hospital, he posed as a nurse and stole two nurses' IDs and their checkbooks. He was living the high life in St. Louis for about three months. He finally gets caught, and he did two years in the Department of Corrections. But, guess what? As always happens, they don't stay in jail for long. In 2002, he got released, and within, within 30 days... He assumed the identity of another healthcare worker. Using their checkbook, he went on to purchase $6,000 worth of merchandise before getting caught. He gets caught again, gets put in the Department of Corrections again, but again, he's not in there long. Guess what? He gets out in 2008, and it doesn't take him long to start his life of crime again. He steals a debit card and then in 2010, he meets a woman from Autism Speaks and defrauds this charity and this woman out of $22,000. Now, keep in mind, this woman has a child with autism herself. And while on the run, he pulls a scam and he attempts to defraud 20 different charities. Where the long arm of Missouri probation and parole hunted him down again, and he spent his time until 2016. Unfortunately, once again, he was released. And since that time, this man has been in the St. Louis area scamming churches, hospitals, and defrauding women. Just recently, he was found at the Mercy Hospital at 615 South New Ballas Road in St. Louis County. On the third floor, using his child's name that he left behind years ago, and he's also been filing taxes under this child. Again, I referenced that at the beginning of the video. He left this child behind in 1997 because he was too fucking big of a pussy to face his own charges and ran off like a little bitch. And so now... That child is proudly serving this country in the military, but instead of trying to make amends with the child and whatnot, what's he do? He steals the child's social security number and racks up all kinds of bills, is falsely filing taxes in this child's name. Guys, I, I can't even begin to get into the list of atrocious crimes that this piece of shit has committed. So, here's just a small list of his company names that he has used to defraud others. Sutton Contracting, DP Properties, Leaf Protectors, Leaf Gutter Protectors, Todd's Model and Talent Agency, Coffee Cartel, and he tried to have people invest into a Sutton Towers. And there's many, many more. Too long a list to name them all off here. His threats among women include financials, bodily harm. He told one lady that he would kill their dog and then make them watch as he cut the head off. 
Todd is known as the homeless CEO of St. Louis who will fake injuries to get into the hospital and to get out of criminal charges. He's faked heart attacks, cancer. He claims to have a grandson that he opened up the Christopher Foundation for. And while he's been collecting in four separate states, stating that this imaginary child has cancer and has died over 200 times, Todd goes to hospitals to beg for money from grieving families and for this imaginary deceased child. And then he steals these families' debit cards. He was kicked out of Granite City, Illinois, for impersonating a police officer. Now, guys, we need to bring this piece of shit to justice once and for all. Now, he's currently in St. Louis County, and he has committed fraud. He has taken over a person's identity in St. Louis County as well. Now, we're looking for any victims to come forward that have been affected by this piece of shit so we can finally flush him down the proverbial toilet once and for all. Anyone that has been a victim of this man is asked to contact investigator Michael Felis at 314-359-4433. So, guys, do me a favor. Help me to bring this turd to justice. Give the video a like. It does help the algorithm, and it helps more people to hear this story. And the more people that see this story, the less victims we will have, and the more that will step forward that have already became victims. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It does help the channel out, and if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. But the most important thing that I am asking you to do above anything else right now is to simply click that share button. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media, guys. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world and whether we're able to bring this man to justice or not. So, guys, do me a favor. Share this out. Let it go viral. We need to make sure that this man does not defraud anyone else, and we need to finally bring this man to justice once and for all. So, let's help flush little old Todd Sutton down the toilet. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I will see you real soon in the next one.